Who's next? You. You. Ow. Bro. Oh, give me a grip. There we go. On this side. And he really does constantly. Oh, hello. Combo. You get to be the special one. What a waste. Ah, uh, it's a familiar one. Ah, uh, they didn't make it. Uh, uh, they're spread so thin between so many characters and locations and stuff. They just recycled a really old one. Kind of want to see like a unique, uh, like the the whole appeal of of having a co-op heat action is having a moment to be like, oh shit. It's like, this is their special dynamic, these particular characters, what do they get up to? And it's like, oh, it's the, it's the one where he weirdly holds a guy in the air somehow, not really sure how, and then somebody else knees him in the face. Further questions about how he managed to jump that high, but uh, I've definitely seen that one before. You're still going with these two sticks? That's, your st that's still your strategy. I got a katana now. Ow. Wasn't all that I hoped it would be, so far. <laughs> oh. You're only winning because I'm using a weapon as the weapon expert, and that mostly makes him worse. God damn it! Fucking give me one second of opening! <laughs> Holy shit. This is getting rude. You get stabbed. No, not not kicked, stabbed. How do you mess up this bad? Use your knife. It's not that hard. Arouse probably too much, but is there any other? Mm. I can just go for heat, why not? Get. Oh, what? Whoa. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that Sephiroth shit? That was like an advent children scene. That was wild. You get the 10 minute cutscene attack! We. It does as little damage as possible because it's like seven attacks. Look at his health not move. It's incredible. <laughs> what is this, Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Give me a dedicated spot. Oh, this is ultimately the pier, isn't it? Yeah, this is the this is the map we saw when we were at the wharf. So it is the it is I was on, I was especially on the right uh, course, planning on going that way, because it is this location overall. Do I have any cloud crowd clearing attacks? I'm trying to remember if I know any, because this is a big ass crowd. Everybody group up real quick. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I guess you get to get hit. <laughs> Just kind of picking people. Have fun. And it exploded. <laughs> but he's still in the holding animation. Is the big guy around? I might have gotten him already. Whee! As long as it's not the long one, please. Oh no! Oh, it's this one, okay. But! The ending of that is confusing. <laughs> you're gonna stand up and you're gonna like it. This is basically how that attack ends. And then it just cuts away. I'm like, is there supposed to be more? I feel like there's supposed to be more. Making them stand up is just a strange ending to that attack. 
This feels like, uh, yep, one of these moments. The way that they kill everybody. Oh, we're separated. Welcome to being the main character! Wow, you just lived an entire Yakuza campaign and in 30 seconds. Was it worth it? Anyway, it's time for one of those stamina ends, I think. Oh! And you get to- oh, it's my friend. Everyone gone? Death via your own body away. That just looks like some dude. <laughs> it does not really. I guess most of these guys just look like some dude, yeah. Because it's like the. Uh, are they supposed to be just kind of like dudes that are being roped up into this organization? More and more of them seem like just like a guy that just works in town somewhere and a few homeless people. Anyway, gun! Guns are as weak as physically possible. It's impressive. Eh. Wow, I increased my attack power with gun. The bullets are gooder now. Uh -huh. Hey, gun. Oopsie. Oh wait, he just picked up the gun I threw? <laughs> oh wait, no, I think that was just a round. I think he was holding a taser or something. There, yeah, there it is. Okay. I thought he was holding the gun that I threw that has no ammo. Oh, going the wrong way. Thank you, helpful little pink arrows. You've saved me. Oh, where am I now? I teleported past him? Why was it set up that way? <laughs> Obviously, it's not like genuinely confusing because you just you're fine. You just go that way or whatever. But this entire chat, this entire sequence is weirdly confusing, like unnecessarily. Even if it's not like actively a huge problem, it's just weird how there's segments like that, <laughs> like where they just like, like basic continuity between cutscenes and not cutscenes is so fucked. Like we establish, oh now we're gonna fight over here, and then it's like now I'm in the middle of this arena, but he's not. <laughs> like why'd you teleport me there, but not him? He's, uh, he's over where I was before the cutscene, but I'm not for some reason. And he wasn't there when I was there. So we just switched places via cutscene, strangely. Oh! Oh no, I wasn't ready for that one. That one's so infrequent. Oh god. He was stuck! Just floating there. That was weird. Anyway. <笑>大丈夫か。うん。どうにか一命は取り留めた。よかった。まさか名古屋組ってのが一般人で構成された組だったとはな。俺たちはずっと監視されていたのか。通りで正体がわからないわけだ。だがあとはボスを突き止めり
出てくってどこへどこか知らない町だよ今度こそ誰も俺のことを知らない町に行くよ何言ってんだよ確信まではあと一歩なんだぞ次は誰を疑えばいい優しかった大家さんかそれともあんたかたくさんだやっと見つけた自分の居場所だと思ったのにああ借金ですかそれならどうぞ指を潰しちゃってくださいよまたバットを握れる日が来るかもなんて淡い期待を持ってたけど俺は最初から野球選手なんかじゃなかったんだただ利用されただけのバカな駒なんだよ利用されようがたった一度だけの打席だろうがお前はプロ野球選手だったあのホームランに感動して希望を持てた客だっているんだバカ野郎が。あの時の時観客1年前お前が金を借りに来た時借用書の名前見て驚いたぜまさかこんなとこで再会するなんてよずっと俺の正体知ってたってことですかああそうだこんなに打ちぶりやがってまあ容赦なく取り立てができる分気持ちは楽だったけどなじゃああのホームランボールをマスクの男に渡したのって俺だあの男がお前探して俺んとこへ来たんだなんだか知らねえがお前に高い金で頼みたいことがあるって聞いてなお前にその依頼を引き受けさせるために一役買ったってわけだだがまさかこんな結末が待ってるとはな夢にも思わなかったぜああ嫌だ嫌だじゃあ何を結局みんな俺のこと知ってたってことですかち,ちゃんと返せよ借金とあのボール結構大切にしてたんだはい久保田はしくじりました代わって私が確実に始末します終わりましたら報告します真鍋さんあんたもなのかお前が敵だったらどうして俺たちに尻尾をつかませるような情報を与えたんだ尻尾俺は八百長は確かにあったと言っただけだそれ以上探るなときつく忠告したはずだぞそんなんで俺が止まるとは思ってなかったでしょうにまあほりゃほうだがだが俺らは腐っても野球選手勝負の世間に引き分けはあれせんちゃんと勝負の幕を引くしかにゃようだなるほどさすが俺が憧れたバッターは言うことが違いますねそろそろゲームセットにしようまいか品だ With knives the famous baseball weapon Why don't they both have bats at least Oh no the obviously bad guy was a bad guy who could have guessed ow Ow, rude. Who's leaving these knives around? <laughs> He's doing flips, what the fuck? Excuse me? It's a baseball player turned chef, why is he doing flips? Cutting him the fuck up, wow.
Ow. The plot twist was actually that the guy that it says he's in the Nagoya family is not in the family in the Nagoya family, but everybody else in the entire town is in the Nagoya family. He was actually your biggest, oldest fan. And everyone's out to get you at the same time. There's that ammo. Owie! Oh, let me get off. Shitty sword, let's go! Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh. Whoa, oh, that's a throw. I thought that was going to be a swing and a bunch attack. But I guess it's only for my my shitty weapon. Ow. My heat. It takes so long to build up. Weapon so trash. Uh. Nope. Uh. I turned around. Thanks for your help, buddy. Just watch me get stabbed over and over again. K.O. Hey, feeling? Hey, feeling? Oh. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I'm choking on these lately. I know he's still alive. I have to hit him one more time now. <laughs> Anticlimactic at that point. いい人だな。負けるために<笑> そうですよね。うるせえわ。焼肉屋の時もそう15年前の事件を仕掛けたのはあなたたちを使ってこんなことをさせている張本人はその耳で確かめてみろ。声を聞きゃ分かるはずだわ。どうした、マナベ。シナダの島さん無事に終わったのか。マナベ、どうした。おい、返事をしろ。
そうですかええその件は了解してますええもちろん私もこれで全て決着がついたとは思ってませんよ代替わりしたといっても名古屋を守るのが私の宿命だということに変わりはありませんからええ手は打ってあります品田はちゃんとこちらで始末しますええ私流のやり方でねでは私だああ例の特ダネの件なんだがそうだあのトレードの話だ無茶言ってるのは分かってるでもどうにかして勇敢に差し込めないか頼むこれには俺の野球人としての夢がかかってるんだどうしたいくつか報告があるんだけど待て直接聞こう例のプレハブ小屋かすぐにそちらへ向かうなあ I'm sure he'll take a sweet time. Maybe I'll step out for a bit. You know, wrap up the, any side quest they just added in this chapter. Right before we finish the story, probably. So we just got through all of chapter three with zero. All of so all of chapter one and three were just non stop story. So two and four are probably my only chances to do side quests, because there's still a few missing. I do l I do hate enemy holds. Something gonna happen? No. I started to feel like more of a loading screen for a cutscene. Disgusting. The sun's up. How do people live like this? <laughs> there's there's at least two sub stories waiting for me right now. Let's go take a look. Are all the random attacks gonna stop yet? Have I earned a break from that mess? Excuse me. It always feels so. <laughs> I just. It's, it's been true for every game, but I just. Yeah, but what? But I'm playing a game. What if I went and did, did like two side quests real quick? <laughs> See you later, Daigo Dojima. You can't see me, I'm walking slow like. Shh. 
He's yelling so much. Here we go. They're clearly setting up for me to be able to walk away and, and do some other stuff first. Because it's probably going to wrap up the story for his entire campaign if I go there. Who's here? Is it you? <clears throat> oh? It's one of these. <laughs> That's not how that works at all. Well, is he acting like a samurai? <sighs> Baffling. Oh, that's really bad. I gave him some batting tips, but I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw this happen. If he can hit a home run like this, maybe he can go pro. Oh, but I guess curveballs are going to be a problem. Yeah. <laughs> they had to throw it perfectly in a straight line for that to happen. But it's also just, that's not how anything works. What in the world? I'm not here for this, I'm here for the side story. Where did, where is it? Did I talk to you? Oh. Oh, hello! Huh? Who are you? I just started today! The lady who used to work here suddenly quit, and then had an ad about saying uh, they were hiring, so here I am! Oh, so the old lady's gone. I mean, she did try to kill me. Um, are you a regular here? Huh? Uh, yeah, you might say that. Oh, then let me introduce myself. I'm Miki Mirai. Please feel free to call me Mi-chan. Uh, okay, Mi-chan. Uh, it's nice to see this place get someone so pretty to work the counter. It'll bring some much-needed shine to the establishment. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Tatsuo Shinada. You can call me Tachan. Okay, Tachan. Huh? Wait, your face. There's... What's wrong with my face? Oh, no. I just think I recognize you from somewhere. Huh? Really? Oh! That's it. I think I've seen you around town with someone. Tachan, do you know, uh, Takasugi-san? Takasugi-san, as in the money lender? That Takasugi-san? Yes, that's him. Mi-chan, why do you know Takasugi-san? Well, it's, um, because I borrowed money from him. Oh, that's what it is. You owe him money, too. Huh? Come to think of it, I think I heard your name somewhere, too. Really? What was it now? Is that you on the phone when Takasugi's not- the one that said her jaw hurt? Oh, no. All right, Takasugi had her working at a bathhouse to repay her loan. She was crying because her jaw hurt. Jesus Christ. Oh, so that's who you are. You're that Mi-chan. Oh, did you hear about me from Takasuki-san then? Uh, just a little. Like, you're, uh, working another job? It must be pretty tough for you. Well, I gotta. If I don't pay back this loan quick, the interest is just gonna keep piling up. That's so true. We both have to- we both have to dig down and work. Oh, ouch, my jaw hurts. Are you okay? Don't work yourself too hard. Yeah, it's nothing. Her jaw aches? From working at some sleazy bathhouse, the poor girl. She looks so innocent, too. 
some world we live in. Okay, Ta-Chan, enjoy your visit. If you need anything, I'm right here. What would you like to do? I don't really want to do the batting. Doesn't seem like it's going to come up unless I try to do the entire campaign, which now I'd be stopping the entire plot dead in its tracks to do. Did I start a sub-story with Miki Chen's... With a cutie like her around, I'd come to the batting center more often. Okay. Should I leave and come back? How do you trigger progress with this? Or do I have to, like, do an impressive game and then talk to her again? Chat with me, Chan. There you go. Hi, me, Chan. How's it going? Oh, hi, Ta Chan. How are you? All right. You don't look so good, though. You doing okay? Really? I mean, I haven't eaten anything today. I should nip out and take and get some takeout. What? And leave the place unattended? It'll only be a few minutes. I'm just stepping out to grab something quick. I guess that's true. Oh, Tachan, are you hungry too? Huh? What are you gonna treat me or something? <laughs> Well, <clears throat> how about maybe? That's a weird answer. <laughs> what do you mean? Want to take a bet on it? We'll see if we'll see if you can hit a home run off a pitching machine or not. Hmm. Yeah, I could go for that. Sounds fun. Okay, how about we base it off of three, three pitches? Oh, I'm fucked. If you can hit a home run, it'll be my treat. So naturally, that means if you have to treat me to lunch, if you can't do it. Fine. You know me, Chan. I'm pretty good at this batting stuff. You might end up regretting this little bet of yours. No, you won't. I, I never hit it in three, and I have no practice. Three pitches is more than plenty for to smack a homer. No, it's not. It takes me, like, six. Let's see if I have to- if you have to eat those words on my lunch, Bill. Haha. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Oh god, I have no practice on the timing. Oof. A diagonal, it sucks. What? Why is he swinging so much later than I press it? What's wrong? Why? Weird. There's a huge lag between when I press it and when he swings that doesn't seem right. Anyway. Yes, I win. Lunch is on you, Ta Chen. Uh, can you get me a bento lunch set? Oh, man. But all right. A promise is a promise. I'm seriously famished. Run over there if you can before I starve to death. All right. I'll scoot off to the convenience store. One bento lunch set's good enough for you. Of course, one is plenty. Thanks, Tachan. I lose. Yeah, I felt like I was getting relatively close to the timing, actually. I don't know. It's hard. So, M stores around the next block. You think I should meet Dojima on time, but instead I'm going to go on an extended romance subplot where I meet with the same, this one lady over the course of what's practically implied to be several days. Enjoy hanging out in my house forever. The concept of love. This is Tok- Wait, isn't this- This is Jet Set Radio music. Uh, where's the bento? Understand, understand the concept of love. Oh, it's not playing anymore, is it? It stopped, damn it. I'm 
pretty sure that's... I'm pretty sure that's just that radio music, yeah. Like if they play Sneak Man next. I say it again and again and again and again. I say, I say again and again and again and again. Just songs I remember. I think that, I'm pretty sure it's the, the same soundtrack. It's just stuff I remember from listening to it. Probably more than I played the game. I just at some point revisited the soundtrack. She's dead, you took too long. Oh, hi Tachan. Did you get my my bento lunch set? Here you go. Thank you. You're a lifesaver. Are you gonna bat today? No. I'm gonna walk outside then walk back in. Any number of your challenges might involve making me bat. <laughs> So it's important to get as little practice as possible so I fail every time. <laughs> hi, Mi-chan. How's it going? Hello. Oh, hi, Ta-chan. I was waiting for you. Oh, what's up? Let me guess, you're waiting for me to swing by, yeah? That's exactly it. Yeah, that's the, basically what she said already. <laughs> but I'll say it again. Listen, Ta-chan, we should have another bet like before. Sure, what are we betting on today? If you win, I'll give you something special, but I won't tell you what it is until you win. Fun, right? Okay, that means I can keep up, keep trying until I win. So what do I have to do? Let's give you five pitches. If you can hit two home runs, you win. Does that sound fair? No, it doesn't. There's no penalty if I fail, right? Yep, we're good then? Let's do this. Fuck. This is where it would have paid to have uh, practiced, both for my sake and the stats. It's like almost a 50% hit rate. I don't have that at all. Okay. <laughs> I made myself wait longer because I think I was hitting them too early before. Okay. Wow, that was awesome. I thought it might be a tough challenge, but there's no beating you, Tachan, except for last time when you lost. <laughs> it was a piece of cake. Okay, I promise you something special, right? Here we go. What is it? It's Michan's special homemade lunch. Huh? Homemade? Michan, you, you can actually cook? What do you mean by that? I'm a good cook. Why is that such a surprise? Uh, right. I mean, considering how you act and all. Never mind. What does that mean? Wait, what, what about her behavior implied she couldn't cook? <laughs> this girl's working in a sleazy bathhouse to pay off debt, but I guess there's more to her than I thought. Yeah, Shinada, what the fuck? You should imagine- you should think more of people that work in the red light district considering you are used to them. What? Why is this written this way? <clears throat> Trust me, it's really good. Go ahead, try it. Okay, I'll do that. Whoa. Well, Tachan, how is it? Ah, oh, it's delicious. Seriously, this is good stuff. It's a pleasant surprise, I can tell you that. <laughs> See? I told you. That's a relief, though. I'd have been a, I'd have been real embarrassed if you didn't like it. Hold on, Mi-chan. Did you make this lunch just for me? Oh, no. I just make made an extra one this morning. Oh, uh, right. Okay. But hey, it sure made me happy. Thanks, Mi-chan. It was fun having this bet with you. We should do something like this again. I'm pretty bored around here, you know. We just keep looping. Hey, it's weird to keep walking back in here every five minutes. Uh... Do you have a job? Do you sleep? Hey, me, Chad. How's it going? Hello. Oh, hi, Ta-chan. I was waiting for you. Is that right? When I hear that from a young cutie like you, it sets my heart racing. 
Oh, Ta Chen, are you falling for me? I, wait, what's the age difference here, actually? She like 20 and you're like 45. Ah, oh, Mi Chen, you're so darn cute, especially compared to that old lady who was here before. Alright, it's just getting weirdly mean. Excuse me? Can you not compare to me to old some old coot? I'm only 23 and she is very young, you know? Michan's 23? Poor girl. Already saddled with debt and working it off in some sleazy bathhouse. You keep- I guess they keep summarizing it exactly with the same phrasing because they're trying to remind you in case you're doing these far apart from each other. But it's just weird how it makes it seem like it's all he thinks about. Listen, Ta-chan. You should have another bet. Are we betting over another homemade lunch? No, not this time. You know Sekai no Yam Yamachan? The chicken wings place? If you can beat my challenge, how about I treat you to a meal there? Sounds awesome. But are you sure? You got it rough with your debt and all. Well, even a broker wants to eat some something tasty sometimes, you know? I love chicken wings, but I'm too lonely to go eat by myself. I thought I could go with you. That's the case. Forget the challenge and let's just go. We can, but I won't be able to treat you then. Of course, if you're willing to pay, then we can totally go. Even tonight. I mean, if I had money, then sure, but... Yeah, you can aff you have 30 grand at least right now, I'm pretty sure. Well then, you have to take my challenge. Besides, I like watching you bat, Tachan. Is that right? You're gonna make me blush. Okay, lay it on me, what's the challenge this time? How about five pitches again, but you have to hit all of them? <sighs> hmm, okay. If I blow even one, I lose. Is it too tough for even the mighty Tachan? Yes. Oh no, there's a date with a pretty girl and some free chicken wings riding on this. It's definitely worth the effort. I Get ready for me to give up on this quest line. Holy shit. Five out of five is a nightmare. That's what I th that's what I think. I can't wait to go get some wings with you, Tachan. I can't wait to f never look at your face again. You count on me. Let's go let's get the show on the road. This is torture. What? Also, just like Akiyama, we have another guy that sells people into into sex work whenever they have debt. Okay, I'm really shocked about having three in a row now, but I don't think I can maintain it for five. Did my stats change that much or something? Is it easy mode? What the fuck is happening? Help! Help! What's happening? What the fuck? Is it in some kind of easy mode? What's happening? I haven't hit this many pit, uh, strikes collectively in the campaign as I have in this episode. I just did seven in a row, counting the last two. Wow, you did it, Tachan. You're the man. Yeah. Now I get a chicken wings date with you, and it's your treat. Woohoo! I say woohoo a lot, even though I'm probably 40. Yep, I got it. I can't wait to bite into some wings. Let's go right now. F fuck this job. I quit. Oh, it smells great here. No wonder everyone in Nagoya raves about this place. She looks like she's sitting uncomfortably forward. Right? Like she's not against the wall or anything, so she's just awkwardly sits straight up. But she still looks really far away from the table. Yeah, look how, look how distant the back bench is from the table. This place is wild. Who set this up this way? For me, this is actually my first time coming here. Ta-chan, feel free to order as much as you like. Ah, uh, thanks, but 
I know you've got some debt on your uh, of your own to clear. I just can't take advantage of that. Oh, the only things I ever say is how attracted I am to you and how in debt you are. That's the entire relationship. Sure, but if I don't at least let off a little steam every now and then, I think I'd go crazy. So don't worry about money today. Oh, ouch, my jaw. How, how much time is implied to have passed? You okay? Sort of. If I open my mouth too wide, my jaw aches. Maybe you're working too hard. Hmm, you might be right. How did such a nice girl get saddled with so much debt? I can only imagine what it's like for her, being on the other end of a happy ending. Actually, I'd rather not. What's the matter, Tachan? You thinking back to that gay quest that was all mean-spirited and stuff? You look so serious all of a sudden. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to space out on you. To be honest, I'm amazed you, you invited me out like this. I mean, there are lots of other regulars at the batting center, so why me? Well, you're a protagonist. <laughs> it's probably because because Takasugi-san mentions your name every so often. He sure likes you, doesn't he? You think so? The guy wanted to squish my fingers for money. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> but one thing I could say is that once I finally met you, I realized you're kind of adorable. That and we're both in debt. So there's sort of a kinship between us, wouldn't you say? About that. I'm always here to talk if you want. Still kind of blows my- oop, sorry, bad word choice. <laughs> my, my mind, you're in this situation to begin with. I'm sorry? I just can't understand why a good girl like you would end up with so much debt. Uh, it's not- debt isn't a fucking moral failing. Like, so much debt that you'd have to work in the sex industry. Sex industry? Tachan, what are you saying? I didn't tell you, but I overheard Takasugi-san talking to you on the phone. And? Is it she- are we just dead wrong about the entirety of the jaw being sore? Like, actually, I'm a boxer. <laughs> he said stuff like how you were drowning in debt, and not to complain about an aching jaw. Well, yes, I do work at a bathhouse, but... Gosh, I'm sure you have to go through so much. Wait, is that what you've been thinking? Oh, gross! It's not that kind of job. All I do is clean a public bathhouse after closing. Huh? Like, the kind that families go to? So, when you say you work at a bathhouse, it really is just a bathhouse. Not some s sticky pool of sin? <laughs> you write for an adult magazine! What is wrong with you? Why are you, <laughs> why are you written like this? Ew, no! Then what about your aching jaw? I was doing voice training and I think I damaged my jaw joints. They call it... <laughs> Temporal mandibular... I actually, that wasn't that hard actually. Uh, a joint disorder, or TMD. It makes my mouth ache all the time. I had to borrow some money because the treatment is so expensive and insurance won't cover it. So... You haven't been working at some sleazy job, and I've been jumping to the wrong conclusions. Duh! Takasuki-san would never make me do something like that. She, he's way better than Akiyama. Fuck you, Akiyama. <laughs> oh boy, am I, am I glad to hear it. Wow, Akiyama, it's almost like there's other jobs you could hire pe have people do to prove themselves besides have, going into the f fucking hostess thing when they have children. You dick. Hold on, though. Tachan, is that seriously what you thought about me this whole time? Uh, kind of. That's why I tried not to mention it. Oh my god, that's so grody! <laughs> Jeez! Hey, blame it on Takasugi-san. If you heard that phone call, you'd get the wrong idea, too. Well, if that's what it was, I've, I'll forgive you. But no more misunderstandings, okay? Don't you ever misinterpret something, ever. A thing you can control. Haha. <laughs> Yeah, all clear. I'm glad, though. I was worried about you. I wish you would have asked me. Come on, that's not the sort of thing you can just ask someone. Even though you did. You literally, like, you just brought it up out of nowhere, Shinada. There was no transition. She didn't, like, bring it up. You just decided to start talking about the sex industry. 
You could also explain that you work in the sex industry or adjacent to it, but okay. To make it feel like it wasn't even that weird to you, even though you were kind of written like it was weird to you, which is weird too. Oh look, our wigs are coming, let's dig in. Oh, here they are. But first, I propose a toast to living debt-free someday. Cheers to that. You mess of a person. Those were some delicious wings, huh, Tachan? Yeah, they were pretty good. I had a lot of fun, too. Now I know why your jaw was hurting so much. That was the first time someone has made that a misunderstanding. Heh, <laughs> I already said I was sorry. Okay, I have to get back to work now. Uh, were you downing beers before work, Michan? Is that the end? That's the end of the quest? It was just an extended breakdown of you having to do a bunch of baseball home runs just to just to find out that actually that one curl you heard on the phone in, in one cutscene once wasn't actually working at a sleazy bathhouse. Haha. -ha. And that's the that's it. Alright. <laughs> the time to plot efficiency was wildly out of whack there. It was just another extended thing to get you to play baseball, I guess. But they also made me play baseball while not rewarding me. Because those cutscenes didn't give me... St like, those those challenges she sent me on didn't give me any stats. Which is mean. So none of it counts towards my overall baseball practice. This Carmen San Diego motherfucker wants to hunt me down. Why is he so suspicious of me? Where in the world is... Well, there goes Shinada. And it's right down here. Hopefully this one's a bit more eventful. What is her plan? Like, she just cut town? Like, she's all day is just gone after that? I assume they all didn't die or something. Oh, Shinada-san. Am I glad to see you? Oh, yeah. From the magazine office. Fancy meeting you here. What's up? There's a big emergency going down. Everyone at the office is scouring the streets. It's our chance to score a massive scoop. A scoop, you say? Yeah, the pop idol Michiru Yamaza Yamazaki is here in Kineicho. He's supposed to be meeting a girl on the side. If you catch my drift, we're all busting our butts to find him. Oh, so you're the tabloid hunting. Have fun. Mm -hmm. Why are you talking like this doesn't mean a thing to you? Help us, shinada san If you can catch him with that girl on camera, we'll throw you a decent chunk of change. Oh, really? He like, didn't even register the idea that this was a chance of, at income. He's really thick. You do know Michiru Yamazaki, don't you? He's a pop icon from Tokyo who's known for his clean and pure relationship with his beautiful fiance because all pop idols have completely manufactured personalities and they're controlled by their companies. What a great industry. Turns out he's a total scumbag. According to my sources, he'll sleep with anything that moves. Doesn't matter whether his targets are married or dating or what, he's a real ass. Even other celebrities have their have their girls stolen away, but they're afraid to go after him because of his powerhouse agency. So nobody's spoken out. And here's the kicker: if the rumors are, uh, if rumors, there are rumors he's responsible for more than a few abortions. Some of the girls involved even went as far as slashing their wrists. Oh. Wow, this ca this got really dark really quickly. Whoa. So he's basically chaotic evil then. Well, despite all the rumors, he's slippery when it comes to evading the press. We can never get enough evidence to put him in his place. Anyway, we caught wind that Yamazaki's in town. Being that he's away from his home turf, he's bound to be less wary. We were told that he came without his usual posse, and we can meet, and so he can meet this mystery girl in private. This is our one in a million chance. 
Okay, I get the picture. But I don't have a clue what this Yamazaki guy looks like. I thought you might say that. I have a photo of him right here. Here, memorize his face. Oh, okay. As you can see, he has quite a distinctive appearance. He looks like a fish. So he, he shouldn't be hard to spot. <laughs> looks like he's got a chicken roosting on his head. Janata-san, listen carefully. There's no point in taking pictures of Yamazaki on his own. If you spot him, tell him discreetly until he's alone with the other girl. If you can get shots of them going to a hotel or something, it'll be a huge win for us. Where could he possibly be, though? Kinaicho's a lot of ground to cover. If we knew that, we wouldn't be pumping all our resources into finding him. Right now, we're assigning each reporter a certain area in order to blanket the town. Shana-san, can you cover Kamano Boulevard for us? That's the one area we're spread thin. Kamano Boulevard. Roger that. We're counting on you, Shana-san. Make it happen. Also, maybe be safe because it's been a while. Where's Kanata Boulevard? Is it one of these areas? Mid Square? Kanata Boulevard's this road. Okay, so somewhere over there. Don't attack me. I've got wildly radical requests like do not attack me in the streets. Feels like they went really heavy on making him as bad sounding as possible, so that I don't have so that specifically to get rid of my misgivings about like, uh, am I really gonna paparazzi up, uh, an idol? I feel like the bad guy behaving like the paparazzi. That sucks. Like leave people the fuck alone. It's like, oh, he's people are like several people have attempted suicide because of this guy's actions. Like, oh, that's a lot. That became so much so quickly. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. So we're looking for someone by Kume. Wait. Kume Boulevard. Wait, did I. Did I just get distracted by the word Boulevard and not look any closer? Shit, I can't review the dialogue? Kumano Boulevard, Kumano Boulevard, Kumano. Fuck. There's a Kumo and a Kumano and Kume. There's Kume and North Kume and South Kume and Kumano. Most of the map is similar sounding boulevard names. Are you serious? Okay, I'm just gonna check. I'm just, I'm just gonna check. Let's just save ourselves some sanity. I might have misheard. Fuck. Red bean paste pancakes. Those are really good. I have had those, and they are good. Now I want them, but I can't have them. It's not only is it... Ah, fuck you. Victory Road qualify... What is this, Pokemon? Come here. Probably one of those things in Pokemon that's like a reference to an element of Japanese culture. He has two health bars! Why are these people just in the street? Go away! I have, a pl I have other stuff to do. Into the wall with you. Into the wall with you. Into the wall. <laughs> Gooch chop. Take a seat. Huh? Why do you guys keep picking fights with me? Damn it, why can't I beat you? you Seems stronger than your average street punk. Probably been a lot of fights. Excuse me, are you Tatsuo Shinada? Fuck. I'm trying to do something here. Man, yeah, who's asking? I help run Victory Road Tournament. I look forward to seeing much more of you. Victory Road? Oh, let me explain. Victory Road is underground fighting. You do fighting. You do fighting. Uh, what does that have to do with me? Well, we want you to do fighting. Victory Road fighting. 
We gotta do some fighting? I'm not gonna do a fucking tournament, but there's prize money. Wait, you said money? Uh huh? I've never recognized that things are profit sources until someone points it out to me. Can you become the ultimate fighter? I never, I never even joined yet. Yeah, but everyone joins. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> You're not introducing a whole fucking system now. I, the moment that started, I was relatively confident I could basically skip all of the conversation without actually reading it verbatim, and it would be pretty much nothing lost. Fucking, I just want to go across town. Okay, you guys get the stick. Too bad the stick sucks. <laughs> How many of you are there? How much do I have to hit people with this? Before it finally starts doing any damage. I could have had this the whole time? It was just waiting for me to see that one guy bat? Oh man. Why'd they have to make the... Why do they have to make those things basically secrets? In at least one of these games, they were like on the map. Or at least somehow helpful to find, like there was hints. Didn't they used to get, didn't they used to get tips about where they were? Now they're just like... They're, I'm, it's like vaguely... I think it's like vaguely introduced that they exist or something. I'm sorry, how many enemies are in this fight? I'm just trying to do something, man. I'm confused by the idea that they expect you to level up his weapon skills when campaigns are as short as they are. I think they, I think that they expect you to do like... It feels like if you combine all of the sub-stories and the main story together... ...and consider that to be like the, the plot... ...it feels like they expect you to spend like 75% of your time not doing either of those things. Like, they want you to fully invest in, like, grinding random encounters and, like, batting a lot just for dozens of hours. When the plot itself is, like, probably, like, four hours long. And the sub-stories are probably about three hours long. Like, they want you to just completely ignore those things and for an ungodly amount of time just completely screw off and do something unrelated to that. That's all I can think. Yeah, but this weapon still feels kind of trash, but there is a whole weapon skill leveling system and like there's a crafting system at Kamiya Works Like there's a whole other system for crafting weapons where you have to get unique rare items and Have a specific combination of them for each uh, craft and weapon and each upgrade like Every in every one of these games when I actually look at Kamiya Works to see if I can craft anything with any of the stuff I've found so far I can't like I never have the right stuff and I'm like, how am I supposed to have that? Like, like, I don't even know how to look for the right stuff at that point. I don't know, the, I don't know what the trick is. But I'm like, the game's only... I'm like, I'm, between this game and last game, you're playing characters that are only... ...playable for like a few hours. Like, why do all that? It's weird. It makes way more sense back when there was one or two characters in the whole game. But now there's five! At least! Hey, is that... Yes, I'm a douchebag. How could you tell? Yep, that's him, all right. Just look at that his uh, at this adulterous asshole. Well, whatever. Gotta get me some photos. Hello? Yes, it's me. Are you off work? Huh? What's that? Don't be stupid, babe. You know you're my one true love. I told you the others—they're just toys, appetizers. Bun warmers at best. <laughs> no, I don't plan on sleeping with any more fans. Not for a while, anyway. <laughs> gotcha. Uh-huh. Seriously, wouldn't want another one cutting him herself. Yeah. She should have gotten rid of it sooner. It's like, 
How do you not know you're incubating a fetus? Uh-huh. Don't I know it. Okay. I'm on the I'm on my way right now. Okay. Uh hope you're ready to get naked. Man, that's some vile stuff you're spewing out there. You still have the gall to cheat? Better follow this douche from a distance. Walking towards me. Well, this is worrying. There's no tailing minigame. I don't know how to correctly do this exactly. And there are definitely Yakuza games I've dealt with where they just instantly fail you. Oh yeah, that happened with the with Saijima and the icy street. He just instantly failed the quest. I'm like, I'm not letting a save just to fix this problem. Is he gonna go anywhere? Hey, Michiru, it's me! Thanks for coming out here. Isn't this the perfect place for our secret rendezvous? Do you really have to be so goddamn loud? Pipe down, for fuck's sake. <laughs> he He's angry. <laughs> That's hot. What? <laughs> Almost as hot as when you're on stage. Holy crap, just shut up. Seriously, not another word. Listening to you wears me out. Hey, that's mean. Why are you even seeing me then? Because I want to rock that deviant little body of yours. Now keep your blowhole shut until we get to the room. Well, that must be the side chick. I'll slink along ever so silently until I can catch the moment of truth. How's your day? Just chillin'. Right, when, I, when I was trying to say that I couldn't get the, the, the pancake thing, I was like, one, it's late. It's like 11 p.m. right now. So it's just not a good time to go out for that stuff, even though I would like one. But two, it's Christmas. <laughs> I'm doing this Christmas night. It's just... Christmas was not a particularly relevant day this year. Any any relevant stuff just happened on other days, basically. Wee woo. Oh, are they heading into a love hotel? Oh yeah, baby, now it's about to get steamy. Yes! Now don't be shy, let me see that money shot. Hey, what the- Stop it, who the fuck are you? Get that camera out of here. Stop it, I said. Ew, who's this creepazoid? Can you please go away? Not until I smash that camera of his. Give me that shit. <laughs> Sucks to be you, scumbag. I got what I came for, and away I go. Enjoy the rest of your day. Get back here, you cockroach. I still don't particularly love the idea of, uh, of awkwardly stalking people and taking photos of them against their will. All right, is there places I have to run to? Am I just gonna run for a long time? Oh, later, loser. Looks like I'm in the clear. Am I? He was right there. I guess they don't have any sophisticated systems for running away from somebody, as a, so they just kind of just use that system at like as a glorified cutscene for a moment. Shinada san, you did it. Those photos were priceless. Yamazaki's grimace of despair is going to be on every tabloid across Japan. 
Courtesy of Nightlife Magazine. I gotta tell you, that was no walk in the park. Going around and playing candid camera is totally not my specialty. Nah, not at all. I'd say you're better off snapping compromising photos than writing dirty art. Oh, oh he's, saying, he's disagreeing with us, saying we're good at this. I'd say you're better off snapping compromising photos than writing dirty articles. This is seriously the work of a master. Sure, if you say so. Now let's talk money. You said you'd pay well for those photos, right? Of course. The chief was strutting around like a peacock over him. 10,000 yen. Ah, yeah. And Tatsuo hits the jackpot. You sure did, Shinata-san. Thanks for coming through for us. And for all you, uh, and for all who hold entertainment sacred. <laughs> We've saved entertainment from the concept of one guy sleeping around a lot. Thank goodness. Like the Dutch boy with the, his finger in the dam. <laughs> oh? Hey, you. Let's battle it out for Victory Road. Well, hold up. You're totally hammered. Are you one of those drunken masters? Shut up. I'm an ex-wrestler. Better watch your mouth. I'm just trying to save. God damn it. No, I just want to save. It's late. <laughs> this guy has no health. Okay, he's dead. It looks like I just stand there doing nothing, but I'm hammering an attack button and he just won't do it. But the fact that I have failed to ha be able to do anything about it takes until the previous animation finishes, I guess. But... Wow, you're so good at fighting. Ugh. It's all over for me. I can't even beat a clown like this. What are you calling a clown? You should take a look at yourself first. Oh, there's an entire animation you have to wait for. And go. <laughs> Shut up. I mean, it seem like much now, but you're looking at the great Kenichi Washino. I have no idea who that is. Damn amateur, they called me a rising star back in my pro wrestling days. I had a bright future ahead of me. Cool, now you're just staring into the sun, which is like a bright future, I guess. Then right after I made my debut, an opponent pulled an illegal move on me and put me in the hospital. That was the end of my career. Sounds like a familiar story. Are you telling me that's why you turned to the bottle? Of course it is. Can't make it to the, this life sober, that's for sure. Ugh, I'm done. Once you fall, there's no going back. No second chances for losers in this world. Get it? It's like it's paralleling your story and stuff. You should spend ten hours on this. I get the feeling you know what I'm talking about, huh? No point wasting life wasting time struggling. Join me and give up on life right now. I'm not like you. Huh? Just because you had a setback doesn't give you the right to get drunk and try to drag others down. Not everyone gives up that easy. Why, you? A guy like you would have ended up like this even if you hadn't got injured. What? But this is all the fault of the guy who broke the rules. There you go, placing the blame on others like somebody injuring you permanently. Ugh, what a loser. Have you ever thought made an effort yourself and tried to change your life? What's your name, anyway? Shinada. Tatsuo Shinada. I've had about all the lip I can take from you, Shinada. I'm gonna show you what happens when, it, when I play for keeps, got it? You just wait. Now he's gonna now he's gonna get roided up just out of spite. Uh-oh, he looked pretty serious at the end there. Man, this is gonna suck. Yep, time to spend 10 hours with that guy and 10 hours batting and 10 hours with the person that trains us with weapons if we give him dating advice. Uh, you can definitely be here all day if you want to be. I just that the, 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 that stuff I feel like just gets so disproportionately time consuming compared to the actual story that it feels like too much. Like I, I like the sub stories, which are already basically as long as the main story, but doing all the weird side 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 things just seems like time ill spent. But hey, his his final sub story just spawned, probably because the other ones I just finished. So there we go.